Hi, everybody. What's up? I'm DJ Sixsmith. You're watching the Sit Down. Leia De Leon Hayes here with us. The Equalizer, big hit on CBS. Leia, really nice to meet you. How are you? Thank you. Nice to meet you, too. I'm doing really good. Happy to be here. <laughs> so it's great to have you. So you've been doing this acting thing for a minute, even though you're 16 years old. But listen, The Equalizer, it's a major deal. Queen Latifah is an amazing actor, and you're terrific in the show. So what has the experience been like for you so far? Yeah, thank you so much. Um, well, one, the response has been so crazy, really amazing. And um, it's been so much fun to be able to film this show. This cast is like a dream to work with. I've admired so many of these actors that I'm working with on this show. And a lot of my scenes are with Queen and Lorraine, two powerhouses of actors. And um, they have just been so amazing. They've really taken me in and nurtured me. And it's been really nice to be able to bond with the two. and. Um, yeah, they're just so talented. You know, I'm the youngest on the set, so I'm just trying to learn everything I can. And I learned so much just by watching them. So it's been great. Yeah, what's that like for you? Because you're used to being one of the younger people on set, but to be working with people who are 20, 30, 40, 50 years older than you at times, you know, what's that experience been like so far? Right. I mean, it means so much to me. I've been on a lot of sets where I've been working with my peers and people who are my age. And I have also worked with adults in the past, but never anything like this where I'm a series regular and everyone around me is an adult. So um, it's definitely been great because a lot of these actors are ones who have been doing it for a lot longer than I have. And I've really been able to really learn so much and kind of soak everything up as I'm just watching them work. And um, I've really been able to enjoy it. And, and they treat me like an equal on set, which is a, a, something that I definitely appreciate. I think that's super important. And like you said, too, it's one thing to be working with experienced actors. It's another thing when it's Queen Latifah, Lorraine Toussaint, two really strong Black women that are starring in big roles on TV. I mean, for somebody like you, what does that mean to have those people as role models and also just to learn from them every single day on set? Yeah, you know, it is so inspiring. That's what's so great about our show is that we're really pulling back all the layers and showing the complexity of women and women of color, um, which you don't really get to see a lot on the TV screen. So it definitely means a lot to me. I know when I was younger, I would always like a lot of audience members want to look on the screen and see a character who looks like me and who is going through the same things that I'm going through. And um, I think a lot of people are able to see themselves within the character that Queen plays and Lorraine plays and that I play and see themselves and their children within this kind of family dynamic that we have. So um, it means a lot to me, you know, I believe representation really does matter, so. Yeah, I think it's really interesting you mentioned that because just unpacking your character in Delilah, like there's a very complex relationship between your character and Queen's character and having your aunt involved in there too. So what's it like to have a show where you have the runway to really understand what it means to be a teenager going through, you know, these different types of relationships here? Yeah, um, you know, I can really relate to Delilah in that kind of way, you know, she is just a teenager trying to figure out who she is one, and also balance the relationships that she has with her aunt and with her mom who hasn't really been a very core part of her life. So, um, and also her relationships with her friends, those are definitely things that I can relate to. And um, I think other people as well, because the relationship and dynamic of the family is so different. It's a relationship that you don't see very often on television. So um, yeah, I think a lot of people are able to see themselves within this family. And I know I definitely can too. So we're both in Jersey. I know there's some filming in Jersey, some filming in New York. Do you have a favorite spot that you got to film at that was cool for you? Ooh, um, well, the episode two, Glory, just aired uh, two nights ago, and uh, we got to film in Times Square, um, and we did our big bit where we sang Glory by John Legend and Common, and um, I had so much fun on that day. It was like a dream come true, just being able to, like, perform in this, like, huge city, and I know when I first, like, visited New York City about, like, four or five years ago, and I went into Times Square, I was like, ah! this is so crazy <laughs> so to be able to like work and then perform you know I've never rapped before that was like my first time doing it and it was just so much fun so yeah definitely Times Square was one of my favorite places to film I mean Queen Latifah has got a history of music do you get a few pointers there on like hey Leia this is how you lay it down here I mean how does that go down and the thing was yeah <laughs> um <laughs> she's like again she is amazing and so talented and like 
every genre of entertainment where I was like, oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to rap in front of Queen Latifah, who is like the rapper. So um, it was actually a lot of fun because like right after I had finished my bit, um, I went up to her and I was like, hey, Queen, how you doing? And she was like, you killed that, you killed that. And I was like, yes, <laughs> I did it. <laughs> If so you get her stamp of approval, nothing else matters. That, that's nothing all else say. matters. <laughs> so I mentioned before, you've been an actor for a while now, even though you're 16. So when you think about your career so far, what's allowed you to be successful? Because listen, there's a lot of kids that want to do this thing. A lot of teenagers that want to do this thing. What has separated you from the rest of the pack? You know, I think what, well, one, this industry is definitely very difficult at times, you know, especially being a kid in, in this industry can definitely be hard. And I think what's really kept me grounded is my parents. You know, I have a really good support system. I know I definitely wouldn't be where I am right now and today without them. Um, they've kind of believed in me when no one else did, you know, and um, I credit a lot to them because they're really the reason why I'm here and I have the motivation to keep going. Um, but I'm very grateful for all the opportunities that I've had. And um, I hope that I just continue to grow and keep getting better and they stay my rock forever. <laughs> I think you're well on your way with that. What do you think have been some of the biggest challenges? I think for some people it's, you know, it's trying to have schoolwork, trying to have friends, just trying to have an identity outside of this. What have been the biggest things for you to grapple with? Yeah, you know, I think definitely having an identity outside of this, like you said, I don't think that's something that a lot of people think about when they're in this industry or when you're young and you're in this industry too. I think making sure that you have other hobbies and that you're actually enjoying this, not for like fame or validation or anything like that really means a lot. Um, but I think also that feeling of rejection, you know, you get rejected so much in this industry and when you're young it can really really be personal to you so I think if you have a good support system it's very important that you do because again they're going to be the ones who tell you to keep going and that you need to get back up and just go for it again yeah it's a great life lesson that's really well said there and I feel like so many things we're talking about can be seen also in the equalizer so for the rest of the season what else should people be excited about what else can we expect from the show Right. I think you guys can expect to be glued to the TV. Um, I think you guys can expect um, a show that's going to give people a lot of hope. I think it can be a beacon of hope for people who have kind of lost faith in some institutions and people who are supposed to protect them. I think it's showing that Black women are capable and have always been capable of leading a show like this and doing this kind of work and equalizing all the time. And I hope people see themselves in these characters as well and are inspired and want to do good. Well, I think you're doing just that, Leia. Really nice to meet you. Thanks so much for the time and stay healthy out there, right? Thank you. You too. Nice to meet you. <laughs>